Uh, today I'm going to be fishing with, this is the, the Penn Jigmaster. Um, we're actually shark fishing and uh, hopefully we'll get something big and whatever we pluck out of the sea. And uh, we're going to be talking about this here reel. It uh, lends itself nicely to the surf. And there's one distinguishing feature about this reel and why I use it is because of the gear ratio. Uh, it's a little quicker than other reels. And I like that for bringing my bait in and out quickly. So I'm just setting up now, and we'll talk about the reel and see what we pluck out today. All right, I'll catch you in a little bit. Hey, everybody. Uh, here we go. This is uh, everything you need to service your Jigmaster fishing reel. Um, basically, I want to start with um, is I was saying you can clean it. What I do is with a WD-40. Um, you can actually rinse out that reel pretty well. Uh, as far as oil in it, I use regular plain old motor oil um, for my reel um, when I'm fishing. I use, this is, uh, I don't know, 1040 or something, maybe 1030 or 1020. But if I change my oil, I got a little left over, I put it right in here, and that's what I use. Okay? The only tools you're gonna need is a pen wrench to clean out your your jig, open up and service your jig master. It's a pen wrench. Um, with this one, I use a Mitchell wrench. Uh, the only reason why I use the Mitchell wrench is because of the handle. Um, over here, the spool nut, it is slightly different than a pen uh, spool nut. I think I have one here. I'll show you real quick. But that's your this is your, your traditional pen spool nut, and you use your pen wrench to just remove that. Everything else can be serviced with this part of your wrench. So, um, I carry uh, this just because I'm using the Jigmaster. Now the Jigmaster itself, here we go. Um, what I love about the Jigmaster is um, easy spool changes. You know, as you can see, it, it takes apart nicely. Um, over here, it has a turn nut. Okay. And all you do is unscrew. This never happens this easy in the field, but remove the plate, and that is it. You know, you just remove your old spool. Your new spool in. Up on the plate. There we go. Tighten. And we're ready to fish. Gotta be a keeper, no? Yeah. You should have seen the one I had earlier. Now, like I said, the Penn Jigmaster has a 4 to 1 gear ratio. So it cranks a bit faster than the other reels I've been using. We have about a 3 to 1 gear ratio, if not less. And it has all the modern features of a modern reel. And it's got your uh, standard star drag. Of course, I changed the handle, but the torpedo handle that comes with his ample is nice and big. Got a free spool clutch, free spool, and uh, clicker. So I'm big fishing today, so I got this set in free spool, and I'm waiting for that fish to run, pick up and run, and that's how we're fishing. There's one more feature about this Jigmaster I really like, and uh, I'll show you uh, a little bit in the you know a little bit later. So we're just waiting for the bite here now. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, spools, spools real quick. Um, when I'm fishing with spools, um, on a boat, 
you have to drop down deep, you're better off using a metal spool. You're going to get more line on there. More line. That's important. On the surf, of course line is important, but you want to cast a little further. So I prefer a Bakelite spool. I think the Bakelite is much better on the surf. And just keep that in mind when picking your spools. Also, you can use monofilament or braid, although I have uh, braid on both. But just keep that in mind. So we're all out here now, we're waiting on the bite. It's a bit early. Got the lines out in the water. Hopefully we got Austin here. Got Tim's down further fishing here. Hopefully get on to some shark. Got some bear fishing with some big fish the other night. And uh, the tide is coming in now. Live hook up there, that was really neat. Stingray? Yeah. <laughs> it's got a good whipper on him. Good? Yeah. Now let's take a look inside. Um, of course your reel goes together like that. Now, the great thing is the plate comes off. And that's beautiful. You can turn it around and this is your bridge. Carl Newell stole this idea. Um, if you're mechanically inclined, they're easy to take apart and put back together. If you're not, they're easy to clean. Um, at home, I use soap and water. In the field, I use uh, WD-40. Basically, if I'm in a rush and I have to clean my reel, you just drop that inside and you can flood it out. Drop it inside and flood it out. Drop it on top, flood it out, and I'll crank it. You just basically crank it through and just wipe down with a towel. Uh, drop back together, and you're ready to fish. And that's all there is to it. So 
if you wanted to take them completely apart, it's simple. You just remove that, that nut, um, unscrew the drag, remove the, the bridge nuts, and this one piece here actually will drop right out. But that's for another video. We're not going to talk about that. Also, um, the other end of your spool, you can as well just spray it down your WD-40. Basically, just wipe it down. And you can see there's still sand in there. Just wipe it down and you are ready to go. But um, if you're at home, just drop a drop of oil and drop your spool in. And we are fishing. And that's all there is to Whoa! This took me by surprise! Yeah, he's big. He's big. I just picked it up and, and he was walking back. You want to play him, Tim? Wow, he's he's big. He's still running. He's running. It's a big one. This is not a ring. Careful, Tim. Careful. No, he's a... Yeah, just yank him out, yank him out. Oh, he's big. A lot easier to handle in a ray, huh? Okay. Male, female? I don't know. That I don't know. But you see how the, the tips on him, they're not black, black? a little meaner. He looks pissed off. Following all my videos, I do use a this handle crank here. It is a Mitchell Captain Series handle, and it's a little different. And I get these from the Mitchell, but I do prefer them for that, um, especially when I'm sharking or big blues and bass. You get a really nice grip. They made a nice product here with this handle, and I get these from another reel. I also make sure I use a little bit bigger star. I don't know if you can see the star drag, but I make sure that there's a smaller and a bigger star that Penn makes. This is the 49 star. Um, if 60 will fit, it's a little smaller, but I prefer the 49. Okay, everybody. Uh, thanks again for watching. Um, I like to do things different um, if you've been watching my videos as far as in the field and working with the videos. and. Uh, 
uh, just having fun, just like you guys are uh, when I'm out doing what I do. So uh, be sure to like, dislike, uh, comment. Uh, always love your comments. And remember, subscribe to the channel. And of course, fish your way. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Okay, we had a really, really bad day. Wacky. I don't know how to run or spin any of this, but doing three different things are going on here today. That's how fishing is. It's not always fun and games. It's serious business. But back to the reel. Just wanted to show you real quick one feature that this jig master has. And it's a quick uh, takedown plate. So you can clean your reel out on the drop of the fly. It's real great design. You can see you can pull the spool out. You can change your spools and line to what you're doing. Uh, you can grease up your gears and uh, wash whatever sand, salt, and whatnot real quick. And I like that. I like that stuff. Uh, today's been really, like I said, a really wacky long day. Uh, we were going to call it quits. But I came out here with Tim and I hope he hooked into something. We're going to fish a little bit longer and uh, hopefully we get one more. We'll see what